Deuteronomy chapter 32 is the song of Moses. Moses has just recounted everything about the Exodus to the people in preparation for entering the Promised Land. And in this song, I found a very interesting verse that I think you will also find interesting. In chapter 32, verse 9, it says, For the Lord's portion is his people. Jacob is the place of his inheritance. Let's look at that for a second. The Lord's portion is his people. You are his people, yes? You're one of his people. You're a blood-bought child of the king. And you have an inheritance, incorruptible, waiting for you in heaven. Because you are his portion. Put yourself in his shoes for a minute. Let's say you've gone out and you've worked hard all day. Maybe even all week or possibly even all month. And you've done this work with purpose and for a reason. To get a portion, right? Whether it be building a house or laboring in a field or laboring for an employer to get a paycheck. You wouldn't build a house if you don't have a place to live in the end. You wouldn't labor in the field if you don't have food at the end. You wouldn't work for an employer if you're not going to get paid in the end. The Lord is always working. And we, his people, are his portion. Isn't that absolutely beautiful? And then secondly, we have this Jacob's... Jacob is the place of his inheritance. Jacob is the place of his inheritance. You know, there's Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And Jacob, his name was t changed to Israel. Whenever Jacob... The name Jacob is used, it refers to Jacob's fleshly ways, the man that needs to die. And then whenever we see Israel used, we are talking about the risen man, the blessed man, the man who has taken authority over sin and now lives in a way that is more and more pleasing with a heart that is structured such that it is chasing after God with all of its strength. He doesn't say that Israel is the place of his inheritance. We've got this portion, which kind of represents a daily thing, and then we've got inheritance. And inheritance is a much bigger deal, and in a lot of cases is necessary for a, for a son of a large household in order to continue that household forward, he needs his inheritance. It's not Israel that's his inheritance, it's Jacob. And I'm going to surmise, for lack of a better term, that the reason that he uses that word Jacob is because he's indicating that Israel's not part of his inheritance, but it's Jacob. It indicates that, yes, you are my people, however, I'm going to continue to work on you. You don't have to be perfect to be mine. You have to set your mind on becoming whole and know that it is going to be a journey. And I am going to continue to work on you, Jacob, as you become Israel, as you become part of Judah, as you become more and more like Yeshua Messiah. Shalom. Thank you for watching this video. If you thought it was neat, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, why not? And if you like this video so darn much that you want to share it with your friends, there should be a button down below somewhere that says share, and you can copy it and text it to anybody that you'd like, that you think might enjoy being strengthened by God, our Creator. There should be a few videos popped up on the screen by now, and if you'd like to watch another quick video, easy to digest, filled with love and creative knowledge from the scriptures, go ahead and click on one of those videos. It really helps the channel out a lot. Thanks, and enjoy. Shalom.